Friday, May the 17th, 2013, and we have come here today to Lincoln Cathedral to attend a 70th anniversary service to remember all who are in some way connected to one of the most famous events of World War II, the Dam Busters Raid. On the evening of May 16th, 1943, 19 specially adapted Lancaster bombers took to the air in three separate waves from RAF Scampton, just a short distance from here. Codenamed Operation Chastise, and each carrying an upkeep, better known of course as a bouncing bomb, designed by Barnes Wallace, they were led by the now legendary Wing Commander Guy Penrose Gibson. Their mission was to strike at the heart of the Nazi war machine and attack three dams of the Ruhr Valley, the Myrna, the Ada and the Sorpa dams. Although generally accepted to be a success, the raid cost many lives on both sides. Of the 19 Lancasters, eight failed to return, either by being shot down or crashing. 53 airmen were killed. Wing Commander Gibson was awarded the Victoria Cross, but more poignantly, Barnes Wallace never forgave himself for the loss of the airmen and it haunted him the rest of his days. As a tribute to all, there will be a fly pass by two Tornado GR4s from the present day 617 Squadron and perhaps more fittingly, by one of the only two airworthy lengths in the world, PA474 of the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight, which is based at RAF Coningsby in England.
to him through our Lord Jesus Christ. Our worship and praise and thanksgiving. To acknowledge our sins. To pray as well for others as for ourselves. That we may know more truly the greatness of God's love. And show forth in our lives the fruits of his grace. On this 70th anniversary of the Dam Busters Raid, we give thanks for the dedication and heroism of members of number 617 Squadron of the Royal Air Force and all involved in that remarkable struggle for air supremacy over Britain. Their courage marked a turning point in the war, for without their bravery, it's hard to see how the Second World War could have been won. As we reflect today on their gallantry and fortitude, we remember all who have served and still serve in that squadron. We honour all who fight in the service of freedom. We express penitence for the suffering and destruction caused by armed conflicts. And we renew our commitment to work for justice, freedom, and decency. Today we pray especially for the Royal Air Force and all those who continue to work, often in immense danger, for justice and peace. We ask for God's guidance that we may hold courageously to the values we profess, that we may indeed do his will as we say together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
Douglas Munro staying at the Petwood Hotel. Yeah. 